morning guys welcome to today's video it's super sunny outside so sunny like wow look at all that snow so uh, we are headed out we're just waiting for sophie don't be that parent that honks the horn when yeah, your kid is getting in the car get the i gave that up sam you should not do that yeah don't do that to me okay so anyways every time i'm looking to the side it's because the new camera that we have the screen is to the side and I can't figure out where to look yet like I always have to try and check and make sure everything is focused and I have to try and make sure I'm in the screen and to do that to do that the screen is on the side and our old camera it was just above so it was easier anyway a good morning and welcome to today's video today we're headed out I bet you guys can guess where we're going I have feeling the need to ride you guys this is the first year ever in the history of day by day vlogs that we didn't ride in the winter actually that's not true Back before when the kids were really tiny and we rode at our very first barn second barn um, the Sam always cut lessons off in the winter time because it was just too cold and he was the one that ran them all the time like took the kids there all the time so he always canceled them but that was when they were really little but once they got to the age where they knew what they were missing we ramped it up and we started taking them all the way through the winter and that's what you guys have always known but lately and you started coming with us. And I started coming with Even though you were terrified of horses. Yeah, even though I was terrified of horses. Did you guys know I used to be terrified of horses? I've realized lately that I have such little fear of horses now. Penny's done that for me. But anyways, this is actually the first year in a long time that we have not been riding our horses in the winter. It's winter here. We can't ride in our arena, not like truly ride. We can play in there and we can like um, do a little bit of riding on smaller horses, but our horses are big. So we don't do a lot of riding in there. We just do like a little bit of walking and a little bit of lunging and stuff. And the footing outside in the winter, because we have like that hill and stuff, it's just, there's ice underneath. It's just a lot of people don't ride in winter. And this is the first time we kind of aren't riding as much in winter. I miss it. I've been dying to ride lately, dying. So hopefully we're gonna get to ride really soon. I have plans, I'm excited, but I wanted to tell you guys something. This is the very first year that we planned our spring vacation. Sam planned it today, Sam booked everything up. We planned our spring vacation to support Gabby. Gabby's the only one in our family that has like different likes than we all I'm do. I'm excited. Gabby likes the things that we usually go to, but we don't like the same things that she's into. But this year, we planned our spring vacation to support Gabby and we're all gonna go and do something this spring that she wanted us to do. Sam booked the whole thing. I'm excited. It is actually so nice outside. I can't believe it. Wow. We are on the bridge. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Yeah, I don't like this bridge. Oh, so many. Oh, so there's a goat pen and a baby cat pen. All right, we're going down. Don't let them suck your finger. Don't put your finger in their mouth. Cute. They're really cute. I like the white one. That one's No. Nope. He can move. So that is it for today. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Don't. They're really cute. Aww. You made him wake up. He was having a rest. Look at some of them are sleeping. Look at that huge one. Do you guys see him? He's cute. They're really cute. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi, handsome goat. <laughs> He's like, I will eat your camera. <laughs> Next Maybe he was bring, a pet. Next time we should bring treats. Oh my goodness, I love that one. The little white one right there. Trying to hide. Really cute. They're so cute. I love goats. I love goats too. That one. That's the one I like. I love you. Yeah. The lady was saying that they only have enough animals for a 20 minute auction today. That's basically all they had were just 
some sheep and some cows, babies everywhere. But once spring happens, this place is going to explode with animals. It is lunchtime, we're feeding all the horses. Oh, hello, Gracie. I love how they just come in. They're like, oh, they're here. Oh, did you guys see that? Come on, so I wanted to tell you guys something that happened the other day. We've come down just to feed lunch, but I wanted to tell you something uh, that happened the other day that was crazy. So, no, hello, hello, girls. Hello. hello. She's like, don't touch my face. Look at how cute you are. Look at how cute you are. Look at how cute you are. Like, um, you forgot about me. <laughs> okay, so, Sylvia, are you going to feed hay while I tell the story? In a minute, I want to play a poem right now. Even though yesterday was really cold and then we have a bunch of stuff we have to do today Sophie still takes time to come in and do the exercises and stuff that she has to do with honey Honey's doing really great though So the other day when we were doing that food challenge uh, After we did that food challenge we went up to the house and I'm always looking outside at the horses like I'm always watching them in the field Are you kissing her? <laughs> and Anyway, so I was watching, like I do, a hundred times a day. You guys probably, anybody who has horses at home probably does that a hundred times a day. So I'm watching the horses and I see Gracie come running out of the arena and she stopped dead, looked at the house and then ran and was bucking. And I'm like, oh, Sam, something's wrong with the horses. We have to go check. And he's like, nothing's wrong with the horses. I'm like, no, there is something wrong with the horses. I know there's something wrong. Like Gracie's upset about something. And he's like, she always does that. And I'm like, no. So then I stayed, stood there and I watched her and she would run in, run out, run and buck and then come and stop dead at the fence and stare at the house. And I, I swear that is how she tells me when something's going on. And so Sophie and I jumped in the car and we drove down to the barn and we checked on them. Everything was okay, but I know she was upset about something. I feel like she was trying to tell me like somebody was being mean to honey. I don't know, but that's what I feel like was happening. Anything, everything was fine when we got down here. But I always check just to make sure. Oh, look, all this grew in. Yeah, it, all this is new growth. Wow, you have to brush it and make sure it stays over. I know, her forelock doesn't stay normal now because kids It's so soft it too, and so soft. Oh, <laughs> she's, like, no. she's like, oh, another girl. Mm, I don't know if she likes me. <laughs> yeah, she's the person that holds the grain bucket. You don't have any treats. But it's okay. Aww. She's, she's, she's so. Uh, rolling. I'm rolling. I'm in your space. So, yeah. She likes to roll where the sun is. Hello. Aww. You're such a cute gonna, baby. Look how furry you are. I know you can't be clean for one day. Okay, brush her off. She did a good job brushing herself off. She still looks tiny. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that story because it's like, uh, just like that much. Listening every single day to your horses and uh, like horses talk, you guys. Yeah, oh, horses talk, you guys. Listen to them. That's what like I always, even like wild animals when we see them, you can always tell when they're in distress. Someone gave me a tip over on Snapchat and I need something to show it to you guys. Do you know where our baby powder is, Gabby? Yeah. All right, so this is what I need. You guys know how my saddle squeaks all the time and someone said, what? Every time she sees me, she either lays down or rolls. I know, because she knows that that's what you want her to do. Yeah, but I gotta teach her to do it on man. Yeah. Um, anyways, on Snapchat, somebody told me that if you put baby powder under the, under your saddle where it's squeaky, by the leathers where it touches, you know, the saddle, um, if you put baby powder there, it will stop it from squeaking. So then I looked it up and I read reviews on it and it says that like, 
a baby powder can cause damage over time because it can be like gritty and it can cause damage over time but what makes your saddle squeaky is dirt anyways so some people say just use oil some people say oil does not work I've tried oil a million times and it has never worked not one single time so I'm gonna be riding soon and I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try putting baby powder it's an older saddle I love it but if it ruins my saddle then I won't be that upset all right it's actually nice today and I really wanted to do something with the horses, something specific. I have to go shopping to get a couple of things bef before we have this deep freeze. We're having a deep freeze this weekend and so we have to get it done. But tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. On Thursday, if Gabby sees her shadow, it's going to be winter for six more months. Six more weeks. Gabby, six more weeks. <laughs> Gabby, it's the groundhog, not Gabby. So Gabby. She comes out of her room. It's <laughs> her shadow. Be for That's true, but Gabby never stays in her room. She comes out of the bathroom. Right? If she wakes up in the morning at all. We're just waiting for Sam to give the horse the big horses more water. Last time. I get distracted easily. I know, we get distracted. We are book shopping. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, the girls are flying through books right now. Oh, flying so through them. Oh, how much is it here? Is that the one that you got? $16.99 here. That's the one you got at Costco? $10. For 10 bucks at Costco? Oh. All right, so get a couple books. Gabby's gone to get a couple books as well. I love this. It's a dog treat Daisy puzzle. Daisy would figure that out. It's Daisy fashion. would figure it out because she Wait, loves this one. like this? And then does it? Series, I think. Oh, oops, I'm not even showing you guys. Maybe oh, not. that's really cool though. Because the dog has a spinet to be able to go like that. Oh, so maybe the treat is like underneath or something. And then, well, you, like, yeah. And oh, then... That's cool. That's really cool. I'm still thinking about getting a new dog, you guys. Phone charger. A phone charger? Oh, Gabby got books? Yeah. Wow, so no every, t every time we... Every time we come here, Gabby's books are never here. She's, and there are four here, so we always try and scoop them up whenever we find them. Good. All right, well, that's for Friday night game yeah. night. <laughs> Our real reason for coming out was to get shavings because it's supposed to be a really bad weekend for us. We've had such a super mild winter and suddenly it's going to actually be winter this, this weekend. It's supposed to be the coldest it's been this whole entire winter. So we want to be prepared. We want to like hunker down, stay in, stay home. You get everything that we usually get on the weekend during the week so that we're ready. It's, um, uh, it's supposed to start to get cold on Friday. Hi guys, we're at the barn and uh, during the morning, I do chores with Sophie and uh, at night I do chores with Gabby. And the problem we've been having is that the mini doesn't like me or Gabby. So she doesn't want to come in. We lure her with her nice yellow grain bucket. I'm going to show you what it looks like when we lure her with her grain bucket. Supper time. Everybody get in your spot. Get in your spot. Uh-oh. She wants to go in. Okay. Just wait. Let her go in. She just wants to go in now. No, that's not your grain bucket. Look here, your grain bucket. This is your grain bucket. Good girl. <laughs> Before she didn't come to the door, now she just comes straight to the door and follows her bucket. She knows her bucket's in there and she likes it and she likes her bucket now. So that's that's it. She's it only took maybe one or two two days of doing that. One, we, one day. One day. Well we had Sophie do it the first day because she followed Sophie around and then we Gabby did the next day and today she just wanted to go straight to her straight to her uh stall which is awesome well that's it for today's video we'll see you tomorrow don't you know